Welcome to Curious Austrian Tours, the honor system of the United Kingdom. Honors are used to recognize merit in terms of achievement and service. Honors include orders of the chivalry and knighthoods. The honors list of around 1,500 names is published twice a year at New Year and the Queen's official birthday, which is on the second Saturday of June. Nominations are made by public or private bodies, by government departments or by members of the public. Honours are awarded by the Queen, usually only on the advice of ministers, for I am the Queen's personal gift, the Order of the Garter, the Order of the Thistle, the Order of Merit and the Royal Victoria Order. The current system is made up of six Orders of Chivalry and four Orders of Merit. Orders of Chivalry the most noble order of the Garter, or the Order of the Garter, with the motto, Shame upon him who thinks evil of it, was founded in 1348 by King Edward III, and it's a senior order of the chivalry. Membership include the Sovereign, Prince of Wales, and 24 other members, plus royal knights or ladies, for example, the Duke of Edinburgh, Princess Royal, Prince William, and foreigners, usually sovereigns. The chapel itself is in St. George's at Windsor Castle. The most ancient and most noble order of the thistle, or order of the thistle. The motto, no one provokes me with impunity. It was founded in 1687 by King James VII of Scotland, who is also James II of England and Ireland. It's the highest ranking Scottish order and the second highest in the United Kingdom. Membership includes Sovereign and the Sixteen Knights or Ladies, Chapel itself St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. The Most Honourable Order of the Bath or Order of the Bath Motto, Three Joined in One It was founded in 1725 by King George I. Membership includes the Sovereign, Great Master, the Prince of Wales and three classes of members, Knight, Dame, Grand Cross, Knight, Dame, Commander and Companion. It's mainly awarded to officers of the armed services and some civil servants in recognition of conspicuous service. The chapel is the Henry VII Chapel in Westminster Abbey. The most distinguished order of St. Michael and St. George or the Order of St. Michael and St. George. Motto, Token of a Better Age. Founded in 1818 by King George IV as Prince Regent. Membership include the Sovereign, Great Master, which is the Duke of Kent, and three classes of members as Order of Bath, awarded primarily to diplomats. The chapel itself you can find in St. Paul's Cathedral in London. The Distinguished Service Order it was established in 1886 by Queen Victoria. It's awarded to military officers for leadership while on active service. The sovereign makes all appointments to the order on the advice of the government. The Royal Victorian Order, Victory is the motto. It was founded in 1896 by Queen Victoria. It is a reward service to the royal family in a personal way, for example, officials of the royal household. There is no limit on numbers. The chapel is the Queen's Chapel of the Savoy. Services are now being held at St. George's because the membership grew so large. The Royal Victorian Medal and the Royal Victorian Chain are the associated awards. The Order of Merit Its motto, For Merit. It was founded in 1902 by King Edward VII. The membership is limited to 24 persons plus honorary members from overseas. It is awarded to individuals of great achievement in the arts, learning, literature and science. Members include Sir Norman Forster, Betty Boothroyd, Tim Berners-Lee, Sir David Attenborough, David Hockney and the chapel itself is Chapel Royal at St. James's Palace in London. The Imperial Service Order, its motto for faithful service, it was established in 1902 by King Edward VII. Membership is limited to civil servants who have been serving for 25 years in administrative or clerical capacity. And the award is the Imperial Service Medal. The most excellent order of the British Empire. 
for God and the Empire is its motto. It was founded in 1917 by King George V. It recognizes service to the arts and sciences, public service, outside of civil service, and charitable and welfare work. Also, it recognizes citizens from other countries for services to the United Kingdom and its people. There are five classes, Knight or Dame of Grand Cross, Knight and Dame Commander, and the Commander is the Commander of the British Empire, Officer, Officer of the British Empire, Member, Member of the British Empire. The chapel itself is at St. Paul's Cathedral and Duke of Edinburgh is the Grand Master. Companions of Honour, or the Order of the Companions of Honour. Its motto, in action faithful and in honour clear. It was founded in 1917 by King George V for the service of conspicuous national importance. Arts, science, politics, industry, religion. It's limited to 65 persons, for example, Sebastian Coe, Richard Rogers, Stephen Hawking, and Judy Dench. Of course, here, for instance, the title so Richard Rogers or Dame Judy Dench, if you want to be accurate. Now, there are also dormant orders of chivalry, for instance, the Order of St. Patrick. Its motto, Who Will Separate Us? It was founded in 1783 by King George III. It is awarded to anything relating to Ireland. Or, for instance, there are imperial orders, such as the most exalted order of the Star of India, its motto, Heaven's Light, Our Guide. It was established in 1861 by Queen Victoria. And the ranks, Knight Grand Commander, Knight Commander, and Companion. It was awarded to Indian, Middle Eastern, and Asian rulers, governors, and senior administrators, commanders-in-chief, senior military officers, and Indian civil servants. Another one was the most eminent order of the Indian Empire. It was established in 1878 by Queen Victoria, its motto under the auspices of the Empress. The ranks, Knight Grand Commander, Knight Commander and Companion. And it was awarded to Indian, Middle Eastern and Asian rulers, governors, senior administrators, commanders in chief, senior military officers and Indian servants too. Another order was the Imperial Order of the Crown of India. It was established in 1878 by Queen Victoria. It was awarded to British princesses, wives or female relatives of Indian princes and wives or female relatives of any person who holds or held the office of Governor General of India or Governor of Madras and Bombay, Bengal and so forth. And the final order I want to mention was the Order of Burma. It was established in 1940 by King George VI and it was awarded until 1948. It was awarded to long, faithful and honourable service of members of the certain armed forces in Burma. Alright, that's all for today. Now I would welcome you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and like this video and do spread the love of curious Austrian tours. Cheerio! Thank you.